In this video, we're going to talk about the muscles used to play bass drum, whether it's single or double bass. I get a lot of questions about what muscles do I use, how do I work them out properly to get faster or stronger or whatever. Playing bass drum uses a different set of muscles than most other activities. In any muscle group, you have an abductor that extends the limb, in this case your foot, away from your body, or an adductor that flexes it towards your body. The extension muscles are your calf and your Achilles tendon. The flexion muscles is the muscles in your shin. Now these are the muscles that most people never use for anything and that's the muscle group that you're going to have the most trouble with as a drummer. The other muscles that you use, you're going to use your core to stay balanced, especially if you're playing double pedal. You're going to use your hip flexors to keep your legs relatively stable, that's part of your core. And then you're going to use the muscles along your foot to keep your foot stable while you're playing, but you're not actually going to play with the muscles in your foot. They're just a secondary use. The things you're not going to use are your quadricep, your hamstrings, or your upper calf. You're actually not going to flex much with the top part of your calf that you would use to say run or jump. In drumming, you're only really using the very lowest part of your leg. And the reason for that is you're making a micro movement. If you're playing heel down, it's tiny. If you're playing heel up, it's not even moving at all. And if you're floating, which you can see my other videos on that, you're just moving the bottom part of your foot a slight amount. So even when I play a loud hard stroke, I'm only really playing with what's covered by my sock here. To train for this, the only thing you can really do is play drums. So I'll play a little bit here, and you can see that nothing is really going on above my sock. Yeah, it moves around a little bit, but I'm not really flexing hard into every stroke. And then even if I was playing loud, that wouldn't happen. And the thing that most people need to work on is their shin muscle because pushing down is easy. You have a strong, strong calf. You can hit as hard as you want. However, your shin doesn't play any role in anything other than mostly not tripping you when you're walking. The problem with drumming is that after every stroke, there's a rebound where you have to come back. And coming back before the next stroke it gets difficult. The faster you go, the more quickly and the more often, you have to rebound, pull your foot back up, and that's what works the shin muscle. And so that muscle is going to get tired and sore very quickly. That's why I advocate for a higher spring tension. That'll help keep that muscle from having to do too much work, because the pedal will push you back up. But also, it's just going to require sitting there and doing it until you build up the right stamina.